Welcome to the SCP Foundation. I am 05-4 and today you are being briefed on SCP-055. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Item number, SCP-055, Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. Object is kept within a 5x5x2.5 five by five by meter square room constructed of cement, 50 centimeter thickness, with a Faraday cage surrounding the cement walls. Access is via a heavy containment door measuring 2x2.5 two meters constructed on bearings to ensure door closes and locks automatically unless held open deliberately. Security guards are not to be posted outside SCP-055's room. It is further advised that all personnel maintaining or studying other SCP objects in the vicinity try to maintain a distance of at least 50 meters from the geometric center of the room, as long as this is reasonably practical. Uh, description. SCP-055 is a self-keeping secret, or anti-meme, Information about SCP-055's physical appearance as well as its nature, behavior, and origins is self-classifying. To clarify, how Site-19 originally acquired SCP-055 is unknown. When SCP-055 was obtained and by whom is unknown. SCP-055's physical appearance is unknown. It is not indescribable nor invisible. Individuals are perfectly capable of entering SCP-055's container and observing it, taking mental or written notes, making sketches, taking photographs, and even making audio-video recordings. An extensive log of such observations is on file. However, information about SCP-055's physical appearance leaks out of a human mind soon after such an observation. Individuals tasked with describing SCP-055 afterwards find their minds wandering and lose interest in the task. Individuals tasked with sketching a copy of a photograph of SCP-055 are unable to remember what the photograph looks like, as are researchers overseeing these tests. Security personnel who have observed SCP-055 via closed-circuit television cameras emerge after a full shift exhausted and effectively amnesiac about the events of the previous hours. Who authorized the construction of SCP-055's containment room, why it was constructed in this way, or what the purpose of the described containment procedures may be, are all unknown. Despite SCP-055's container being easily accessible, all personnel at Site-19 claim no knowledge of SCP-055's existence when challenged. All of these facts are periodically rediscovered, usually by chance readers of this file or watchers of this video, causing a great deal of alarm. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, this great lost my spot. Um, all of these facts are periodically rediscovered, usually by chance readers of this file, causing a great deal of alarm. This state of concern lasts minutes at most before the matter is simply forgotten about, unless you leave reminders all over the place to record a video uh, talking about this particular SCP. A great deal of scientific data has been recorded from SCP-055, but cannot be studied. At least one attempt has been made to destroy SCP-055 or possibly move it from containment at Site-19 to another site, meeting failure for reasons unknown. SCP-055 may present a major physical threat and indeed may have killed many hundreds of personnel and we would not know it. Certainly it represents a gigantic mimetic mental threat, hence its Keter classification. Document number 055-TAC-1, an analysis of SCP-055. The author puts forward the hypothesis that SCP-055 was never formally acquired by Redacted and is in fact an autonomous or remotely controlled agent inserted at Site-19 by an unidentified third party for one or all of the following purposes to silently observe or interfere with activities at Site-19, 
activities at other SCP locations, activities of humanity worldwide, other SCP objects, or redacted. No action to counter any of these potential threats is suggested or indeed theoretically possible. Addendum A. Hey, if this thing really is an anti-meme, why doesn't the fact that it's an anti-meme get wiped? We must be wrong about that somehow. Wait a minute. What if we were to keep notes about what it isn't? Would we remember those? And that was Bartholomew Hughes from the NSA. Uh, document number 055-TAC-2, report of Dr. John Marichek. Survey team number 19-TAC-055-127, TAC Bravo X-Ray Echo, was successfully able to enter SCP-055's container and ascertain the appearance and, to some degree, the nature of the subject. Notes were taken according to the project methodology, see redacted, after which the container was sealed again. Excerpt from a transcript of personal debriefing follows. Dr. Hughes, okay, I'm going to need to ask you some questions about number 55 now. Redacted, number what? Hughes, SCP Object 55, the object you just examined. Redacted, um, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think we have a 55. Hughes, okay then, redacted, I'd like you to tell me what you've been doing for the past two hours. Redacted, what I... Subject appears uncomfortable. I don't know. Hughes. Okay, then. Do you remember what we all agreed that it wasn't spherical? Let me redo that one. Hughes. Okay, then. Do you remember that we all agreed that it wasn't spherical? Redacted. That what wasn't... Oh, right. It isn't round at all. Object 55 isn't round. Hughes. So you remember it now? Redacted. Well, no. I mean, I don't... I don't know what it is, but I know there is one. It's something you can't remember, and it's not a sphere. Hughes. Wait a minute. What's not a sphere? And you could guess how this goes. Uh, Doc, do you remember agreeing that something wasn't shaped like a sphere? Hughes. Oh, right. It appears to be possible to remember what SCP-055 is not, negations of fact, and to repeatedly deduce its existence from these memories. Personnel involved in survey number 19-TAC-055-127 Bravo X-Ray Echo reported moderate levels of disorientation and psychological trauma associated with cycles of repeated memory and forgetfulness of SCP-055. However, no long-term behavioral or health problems were observed, and psych assessments of survey personnel showed consistent reports of this distress fading over time. Recommendations: It may be worthwhile to post. <clears throat> it may be worthwhile to post at least one staff member capable of remembering the existence of SCP-055 to each critical site. And that concludes your briefing on. SCP, which one? Right, SCP-055, the um, memory killer, uh, anti-meme. Um, we still have a bunch of research left to do on this. Uh, negations of fact, that's, that's important. I have it on a sticky note here. Um, remember to study negations of fact. Uh, for instance... It is not a sphere. Okay, what else is it not? And then we'll have a good idea of what it is. Uh, the reason why we know what we know is because of stuff. Right. Um, we know it's an anti-meme because everybody forgets about it. That's how we know that this is what it is, because every time somebody looks at something that says Object 55 and reminds you of Object 55, you remember that that's what it does, kind of. You remember that you forgot about it. Uh, you remember that other people have forgotten about it. And so that's duh, right? But anyways, um, 
Apparently, I really hope I remember to submit this to the editor before uh, we post on the site. <laughs> okay. Um, apparently, this is the fourth time I've done this video. Okay, so anyways, um, we have confidence in your capabilities. We do really need to know what SCP-55 is. And we need to know as soon as we can. Remember, we secure, contain, and protect. We die in the dark so that they can live in the light. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe, and ring the bell if you'd like to see more. If you didn't enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a comment as to why. Uh, please try to keep your comments uh, constructive if you can. And, well, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your whatever.